Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link with whoever you wish. Uh, somebody sent me a message saying that uh, the Muslim Imam or sheikhs or stad uh, they can heal or they have uh, you know some practice to heal people who they are sick. So he said, uh, so how you can answer such a thing? Um, you see, if you believe in something, if you believe in something, even if it's not true, it's going to come a belief. It's going to be something like real for you. Like as an example, if you think you are uh, wealthy, but you are very poor. So you start acting like one because that's what you believe. But the reality is different. So Muslims, when they say to you, especially those who call themselves Ustad, that they can heal somebody, will go and see their family, how their family are collapsing, and they themselves, they're dying, and they could not heal themselves. And I don't want to go far to personal, like this guy and that guy. Let us go and see what happened to Muhammad. So the Muslim Imam can heal. But Muhammad himself, he could not heal anyone around him. He could not even heal his son, supposedly, according to Muslims. Muhammad's son, he died. And Muhammad could not do anything about it. He died from sickness. <clears throat> if we go here, we will see the following. Let us find the hadith. Give me a second. All right. This is the hadith in front of us, and this is Sahih. The son of Muhammad, according to Muslims, I don't believe Muhammad have any children, by the way, because I believe Muhammad was an impotent man. And this is another problem he have. Allah could not heal him. He cannot have kids. Uh, this is why Muhammad, after all the women he slept with, he could not have one child. All the daughters Muhammad supposed he have, those are the daughters of Khadija. Khadija, she have a previously two husbands before him. And this is why Khadija, she adopted a son. His name is Zaid, and the Quran mentioned the chapter Al Ahzab, mentioned the story of uh, of Zaid, who Muhammad he stole his wife from him. So Muhammad never have children. But this is what the Muslims they say. This child, who his name is Ibrahim, who is supposedly the son of Muhammad, he was dying in front of the eyes of Muhammad, and Muhammad he could not do anything to him. I saw the boy breathe his last in his in the presence of Allah Messenger. The eyes of Allah Messenger shed tears and he said, Ibrahim, this is the name of his son supposedly, our eyes shed tears and our heart are filled with the grief. But we do not say anything except that by which Allah has is pleased. Ibrahim, we are aggrieved for you. So the one who heal and the one who will okay, Muhammad, here we go. He is losing supposedly. If this is a true Muhammad, he was able to make a kid or let us say to have a kid. Only one. And now his only begotten son is dying in front of his eyes. Where is Allah and where is the healing power of Islam and etc. So all of this is fiction. Now, what about Muhammad healing himself? Forget about Muhammad. He could not heal his son. His son died in front of his eyes. He could not do anything about it. What about Muhammad? He could not heal himself. If we go, we will find, and now we will talk about like uh, the Muslim, they do extra, uh, like, uh, like they, they kick the genie out of you. <laughs> kick the genie first of all there's nothing it's called genie there's many naive christians and i say the word naive you know this is naive yeah if you if you think a genie is a demon that's mean you are a very naive a christian you do not know christianity you do not know islam demon are a spirit genie are not so anyone who says to you he is a priest 
and he do not understand that genie is not a spirit and genie is not a demon that a priest he need to go to elementary school to learn before he go and call himself a priest in other way he is an idiot who claim to be a priest with knowledge and we have a lot of them in our churches by the way sadly because this is a business you know I mean like you make yourself a priest like Muhammad Muhammad he made himself a priest and then a prophet and it's a good business you know your people respect you you eat the you eat the lunch of somebody you eat the dinner of somebody and people they respect you wherever you go and you have a good life it's a good business all right so those are fake people a real person who have knowledge in the Bible he should know because the one who study especially if you are a person who live between Muslims like somebody he is a priest in Indonesia he should know better because you live between Muslims so you should study this cult it's called Islam so you can answer people so a genie is made from fire and he is a creature who have a, is a physical but he have a special feature nobody can see him and that because Muhammad he could not explain okay where is the genie <laughs> to the point even Muslims they believe they can have sex with the genie you see you don't have sex with the spirit right why and how you can have sex with the genie he is invisible but yet he can have sex with you which mean which mean they, they believe there's a male genie female genie so they have a private part of a male they have a private part of a female they have organs they have head they have hands they have a penis they have so anyone he says to you genie is a demon this guy is a certified donkey take take a note you can search right now in Google like having sex with a genie you know the Muslims believe in that deeply all right now as long the Muslim Imam or the Ustad uh, they can heal somebody as they claim they claim that well I challenge anyone to prove that there's a genie anyway to be healed from genie is a fiction story and we are going to prove it to you to show you that Muhammad is nothing but a liar if we bring all those who call themselves Ustad who they are making tons of money from the poor Indonesian and Indonesian are very poor people with my respect to the poor people I love them I mean myself I'm not a rich man and I don't want to be because uh, really you know money always corrupt people mostly mostly not all people but those people they can't explain to us how they can heal somebody but Muhammad could not and Muhammad he could not heal his own son and he could not heal himself if we go in the hadith we will find tons of stories not only Muhammad's son himself and this is Sahih Muslim hadith number two three one five which is Sahih about his son dying and Muhammad crying over him and his God could not remember Jesus he can raise people from death even the Quran witness for that even the Quran says that Jesus came to the Jews he says I I create from the mud a figure of a bird and I breathe into it and I make it a living being I heal the leper I heal the blind so the only person in the Quran mentioned that he can heal is Jesus I challenge any Muslim can show me that another another person he can heal in the Quran any Muslim can show us anyone nobody so it's confirmed in the Quran let us get the verse that Jesus can heal the Quran claimed that Allah he gave Jesus the power but this is a claim I can say too I can say I am the one who gave Jesus the power two chapters in the Quran saying that Jesus healed Jesus raised people from death Jesus he made the blind see Jesus healed the leper Jesus he can uh, uh, make the dead alive and yet for sure this is Allah he gave him this power hmm. but this is a claim talk is a cheap uh, Trump he can say I'm the one who gave Jesus the power if Allah is the one who gave Jesus the power so how Allah cannot do 
give the same power to someone else? Isn't this a good question? I mean, Muslim, they say that Muhammad is the best prophet of mankind. Are we listening, people? I want you to take notes so you learn how to answer the Muhammadan. If Allah is the one who gave the power to Jesus to heal, okay, how come Allah could not give the same power to Muhammad? Anyone can tell me? This is a clear proof that Allah is a false God and Allah is not the same God uh, who can give power. Let us assume that Jesus, he got that from a God, whoever that God is. Well, if this is the one, is Allah the one who gave it to Jesus and that's confirmed that Jesus have it. But now we are talking, who is the one who gave him the power, let us say. So if it's Allah who gave him the power, then Allah can give Muhammad just one of them. What about Muhammad here in the leper? Forget about all this a huge list, which is a scary list. Look at this list. I mean, what is left? What is left for God's sake? Jesus cannot do. Look, he can raise people from death. Who? Jesus. He can create from the clay the likeness of a bird. And I breathe. You see the word I breathe? It's not Allah breathe. So from the breathing of Jesus, life is created. All what Jesus need to give life, he breathe. This is a chapter 3, verse number 49. So Jesus, he can make, he can create, he's a creator. The same as God, he created Adam from the mud. Jesus, he can create a living being, can be human, can be a bird, because there's no different. He can fashion a mud, as you see, in a figure of a person, or what you need to do, he breathe into it. So, why Allah did not give Muhammad the ability to breathe and give a life? No comment. Okay, what about I heal those who they are blind? Muhammad, he have a person who is blind. He keep coming to his house. Do you know what Muhammad did to him? He kicked him out. There's a chapter in the Quran. It's called the Abasa wa Tawalla. In Ja'ahu al-Ama. Abasa wa Tawalla. When a blind man, he came to Muhammad, chapter 80, verse number 1, asking for guidance, not asking him for eyes. I mean, the guy is not even, he knew Muhammad, he can do nothing for him. Actually, if you read in the Bible, you see the story where Jesus, uh, when, when the blind, he said to him, I want to see. I mean, have you ever heard of such a request? Like, you are blind, and then a person walk by. And what you say to him? You don't say to him, I want a sandwich. Because this guy is supposed to, he should be, should be begging for food. He's blind. He cannot walk. He is not asking for food. He is not asking for some pennies. He's asking for, I want to see. Why is he asking Jesus he, he want to see? Because his name is all over. This is the person who ever stand in front of him and he have a problem. He can fix it. He can heal it. So the blind man did not ask Jesus to guide us. He asked him for eyes. And Jesus gave him eyes. When the blind man came to Muhammad, what Muhammad he did? He fawned and turned away. Who? Muhammad. Muhammad, he made this verse himself to clean himself. That's okay. You know what? I have a bad reputation. A blind man came to me and I was very rude with him. People start talking about him. I mean, what kind of a guy? Just because he's busy with the rich men of Quraysh. If you read the story according to Muslim, not according to Christian Prince, that Muhammad was speaking to a bunch of rich people of Quraysh, the tribe of Quraysh. And the blind man, he came to ask question. Muhammad, he gave him a face and he kicked him out. 
because come on this guy is just a poor guy and not only that if you read the interpretation you will see that he was afraid that the people of Quraysh will say oh look who is following him a blind poor man this is the one who follow you a blind poor man so Muhammad was ashamed of the blind man and he kicked him away and by the way if you are a person who want to say I'm making things up I can open the interpretation for you let us do that so most them will not say we are making things up you know them you show it to them in the screen and yet they say they call you liar liar it doesn't matter what you show them <coughs> What kind of a prophet this prophet is? Hmm. This is the book of Asbab in Nuzul, and this is the official government of Jordan. Government of Jordan. This is owned by the king of Jordan himself, who he claimed that he is from the family of the prophet, and that explains why he's very much corrupt. So when the blind man came to him, he said to himself, who, who said himself, Muhammad, these chiefs will say his followers consist of only the blind, the lowly people and the slaves. Do you see it? Muhammad was ashamed of the poor man, ashamed that he is a blind and he was worried that the chief the rich, the chief, who is the chief? What a chief? What make you chief in the in a community? Richness, money, gold, silver. This is Muhammad. Jesus was not worried about the blind man asking him and talking to him. Jesus even touched him with his own hands. He made a mud and he put it in his eyes. He was not ashamed to stand and give his time, the priceless time of the Lord. We are talking about a person we believe he is our God. Standing in front of a blind man who was asking for eyes. So while Muhammad was ashamed of the blind man saying, oh, they will say I'm talking to lowly. Do you see the word lowly people? Let me zoom in for those who they have a bad vision from the Muhammadan. Do you see it? Muhammad, he don't want to have uh, slaves, followers, or lowly, as he called them here. This is Muhammad saying to himself, lowly, which means the lowest of the society. Muhammad, he see the blind man as the lowest of the society. Please don't go out of my topic. Focus with my topic, otherwise I will block you. Don't tell me Muslim try to kill. We are not talking about Muslims now. Anyone here will attack the Muslims, I will block you. Our topic is Islam. Muslims are victims. The same as many Christians are victims of stupidity around them. So don't think you are better. There's many of you are ignorant. You do not know two words in the Bible. Many of you go to the church, stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down, and then you go out, still you learn nothing. The same as the Muslims. Why? Because you're expecting that the priest, this is his job, the priest's job. You know, the priest, is the, his job is to understand. So who are you then? It's your job to understand. This is your belief. This is why you find that a person, a little question, he will make him dizzy because he never studied the Bible. He does not know what he believes. He, he knew he is a Christian by name. You are no Christian. There's nothing is called a Christian by name. I have a bad news for you. You are no Christian if you do not know your Bible, if you do not know who is your Jesus. Many of them, the same exactly as the Muslims. The Muslims, they recite a prayer in Arabic. They don't even know what they are saying. They don't know anything about Islam. And they have no idea. Like the guy who called me just two days ago, he says to me, the muta is for the Shia. Why he's saying that? Because he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's an ignorant. 
He never try even to study for one second. He have internet, he have Google, he have a phone, he have etc. But yet he don't want to type two words, says the muta was what? Ignorant people. And there is many Christians are like that. There are Christians by name, fake Christians. So as you see here, we are comparing, we compare between Muhammad and Jesus. We are not comparing between me and the Muslims. The Muslims is not our topic. Stay away from talking about Muslims. If we talk about people, there's a lot of garbage everywhere. There's bad and good everywhere. So Muslims have people who they are good people too. And they have people who they are bad. Well, the Christians are the same. The Hindus are the same. The Buddhists are the same. This is not the topic. Don't think you are better than anyone. If we are better, we will not even have Jesus here because he came because we are sinners, because we are bad, not because we are good. It's not the goodness of us brought Jesus to earth. It was our ugliness. This is why Jesus says, I came to heal the sick, for the sick one, not for the healthy. So as you see here, Muhammad is ashamed of the blind while Jesus was healing the blinds. So the question is, why Allah did not give Muhammad the power to heal this blind man? I mean, forget about all the rest of the miracle of Jesus. He can heal any disease. He can make the, the dead uh, alive. He can uh, create from the mother bird. Okay, forget about this. Here we go. He have a, he have a blind man. Next to his house. Heal him. He have his son dying. Heal him. Pray to Allah to heal him. He could not. But the story is not over yet. Muhammad himself, he could not heal himself. If you go in the hadith, you will find Muhammad saying, Allah Apostle said, he who eats seven ajwa, date every morning, will not be affected by poison or magic. See here, Muhammad, he is not claiming that Allah have a power. The healing is the, is the, is the, here the, the God here is ajwa. Seven ajwa, if you do not know what, what ajwa here is, is uh, the, the palm date fruits. Muhammad is saying the one who prayed to Allah seven times, Muhammad is saying the one who eats seven ajwa. Okay, what about Muhammad himself? Wasn't he eating seven ajwa a day? So he was giving us advice not to smoke, but he smoked? Muhammad, he died by poison and he was affected by magic, according to Muslims. Is that true, Muslims, or are making things up? Any Muslim here in the chat? Is that true, or are making things up? My friend, this is always a lie. What Muslims are healed? I never saw a Muslim he have a miracle in his life. This is always a, is a is a is a is a fake, is a scam. I never. And you see the proof in front of you, Muhammad himself. So you are saying to me that the Ustad he have a power, the Prophet himself don't have it. Go and see the list of people die from cancer every every year. In Islamic countries, if this is the case, nobody will go to hospital. Just go to the sheikh. This is a this is a big fake, you know, scam. And it, only it, this is only convincing for the fool. Only convincing for the fool. And me as a Christian, if I have cancer, who said that the Lord will will recover me if I have a cancer? That's not true. That's not true. Why why he will recover me? Give me a reason. We are born to die. You see, when the Lord, the Messiah, he made miracles in his time. For he is a miracle himself, and those requests is nothing for him. He is the one who create eyes for you, so he give you eyes. He is the one who give you life, so he give you life back. He is the one who can heal anything, but it was for a reason. But we, 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 we Christians, we die too. The priests, they die. 
the bishops they die so this is all is just if you are stupid you believe in anything there's a lot of a scam there's a guy his name is Hini bin whatever Hini binny you know scam just a big scam he touch a person and the person he fell in the ground the Muslims they have the same scam and the fool is the one who believe in such a garbage That is the truth. <clears throat> I am serving the Lord. I get sick too. All the disciples of Jesus who been killed, slaughtered. All of them. So when when a person he spread for you a propaganda as an example the Muslims they were saying that the Mujahideen who die fighting for the sake of Allah their body will not be uh, like rotten they will smell so good even after death that's a big fat lie Muhammad himself I can show you the reference where Ibn Abbas said it sahibakum fa innahu qad atin yasan kama yasan al bashar Bury your friend, he smells so disgusting, the same as all a human being does. And why Ibn Abbas he said that? Because the Muslim they notice that Muhammad is a scam. Muhammad he said in the hadith, this is this is why the Muslims when Muhammad died, they did not bury him for three days. Uh, Muhammad he claimed that he is because a prophet. Allah will not allow the earth to consume his body. Do you see the hadith? He asked the Muslims, and this is Sahih hadith, he asked the Muslims to pray on him every Friday. Ask Allah, pray to Allah, huh? and Allah himself he pray on Muhammad too. So he says, among the, the most excellent of your days is a Friday. So invoke many, many, not many, many blessing. It's a prayer, not, not blessing. This is a, a false translation. On me, on that day, for your blessing will be submitted to me. But not, not your uh, blessing, your prayer. They, the companions, say, ask Allah, uh, Messenger, how can our blessing submitted to you or prayer when your body will be decayed? He said, Allah forbid it, the earth from consuming our bodies. So the Muslims, when Muhammad died, they did not bury him for three days, and then they got a stinky prophet. All right? So Allah, he could not keep Muhammad not to stink in three days. Just three days. I mean, okay, can't Allah create a refrigerator around him? At least to keep his, uh, his uh, people from laughing at this false prophet because now he proved that he is a false prophet. He just said that the, you know our body will be always there. Uh, he is dead, but he's alive. He is he's saying that even his the prayer will be submitted to him as if he is God. This is why the Muslims they say, What would you you will be dead? He says, No, 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 no. Even the ground cannot eat our body. Do you see it? So it's obvious that Muhammad, he is a fake, false, scam prophet. What else? Muhammad was affected by black magic. The Muslim they say to you we read Quran and that will fight magic first of all there's nothing it's called magic this is stupid belief you will be a certified donkey if you believe in magic the Bible speak about magic this is what people at that time they say there's magic like you know uh, Musa's magic versus the the magic of uh, of the uh, of the Pharaoh uh, uh, magician but this is how they understand but this is not a magic this is a miracle of God Musa did not do magic but his magic 
destroy their magic, which means the power of God, the magical power of God. But it's not a magic as the word. Magic is a lie. It's a fiction. It's not true. So once the prophet was bewitched, do you see the word bewitched? Do you see the word bewitched? Okay. So now if Muhammad bewitched, should we bring the Ustad to fix the bewitched prophet? What do you think? Should we call some Ustad? Ustad Malawani. Uh, let us call uh, let us call Dr. Zakir Naik. Tiradan 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 Tiradan. Dr. Zakir Naik is not answering. Tiradan Tiradan. What happened to Zakir? I think uh, it's late for him, maybe. I think so. Okay. okay. When he is going to answer us, like what happened? Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, brother. Uh, I told you. I told you one thousand time. Don't call me Christian Prince. You know it's me. I know your voice. I see it in my dreams. Uh, Doctor Zakanaik, you are a doctor. And you are a Muslim sheikh, and now we have somebody is bewitched. So what we should do for him? I am telling you, the only one I see right now in front of me here to be with is you. I'm not bewitched. Why you are saying that? First of all, you didn't eat seven adwa, and this is the proof that you are going to be with. Ah, so the one who eats seven adwa, he will not be bewitched. Exactly. Okay, but the prophet he used to eat seven adwa is that correct? Correct. Actually, the prophet he used to eat more than seven adwa, but he said the limited number is seven adwa. Okay, so the limited number is seven adwa. So how come the prophet was affected by black magic? First of all, the magic of the prophet was very unique. It was the virus brought from Zimbabwe. Uh, from where? Zim -zim -zim -bay. Uh, you mean Zimbabwe? Exactly. And that virus is very very tough. But it says magic. What virus? Ma virus is not a magic. Are you saying to me you don't believe in magic? You believe in viruses? This is not what I said. I said it's very, 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 very old very in the world. A lot of very. Okay. Uh, let us say there's like a 1,000 very before what you want to say. All the very in the world. What? It's very, 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 very strong magic. And the prophet, he could not stop it. So are you saying to me the prophet he could not stop it or Allah could not stop it? This is not true. Allah he can't stop the magic and the proof that later he did recover him. Okay, but why Allah he could not stop it before it happened? Isn't it the prophet he have a shield? And he is protected from mankind at the genie as the Quran he said. The prophet is protected and he always was protected and that the, the, the be with it did not affect him. What do you mean he did not affect him? The guy he imagined he done thing, but in fact he did not. That's mean he lost his mind. Christian Prince, I'm telling you, you are the only one who lost his mind. Actually, I don't think even you have a mind at all. And you are very, 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 very bewitched. Uh, okay, I'm not bewitched. You keep saying to me, I'm very <laughs> nothing happening to me. I don't imagine myself having sex, but in fact, I did not. First of all, the prophet he imagined himself having sex because this is a very beautiful fantasy. Don't you see dreams sometime? But this is not a dream. The guy is awake and he sees himself having sex. But in fact, he did not. It is true that the prophet, he imagined himself having sex. But this is for a reason. Because all the wives of the prophet are so beautiful. And Allah made them very beautiful in his eyes. And this is why whatever he put his eyes, he sees something fit sexual. You know, Dr. Zakir Naik, I'm really convinced. And you are your answer. No wonder you are called a doctor. Exactly. And I get my degree from Bangladesh. Where is your degree from? I don't even you have a high school. Actually, I don't have any <clears throat> degree. Uh, when I get my degree in Islam, my dad he says to me, You get a degree in farting. First of all, I don't think even you know about farting because the prophet said when a person he fart, the Satan he turned his back and he thought fart. When what? Uh, I think, uh, Zachary, you are quoting the hadith wrongly. The hadith says when somebody he pray, calling Allah, shaitan, he turn his back, his ass, and he start farting. Is that correct? Exactly. I forgive me. I forgot the hadith. Actually, I don't know how come you know the hadith better than me, but it's okay. 
anyway so the shaitan start farting and you do not know about it and if not the prophet he will not know that shaitan he do fart uh, by the way Zakir, shaitan he fart but where the gas coming from Allah provide him with God Allah have a lot of God actually all Islamic country have a lot of God and that because we call for Allah and Satan he fought so we have God other example if you go to Qatar it's number one for the president of the, the, the God and I have to go and don't call me again if you call me again I will go to call the police in Malaysia and they will arrest you okay I will not call you again that no problem can I call the other number I told you leave me alone and I am sexy and you know it Beep. We have a prophet who was bewitched. Where is the where is the Quran to protect Muhammad? The Muslim scholars they read Quran for you to heal you, right? Which is a scam. Muhammad was reading Quran every day. He is actually the one who made the Quran. Quran is everything about him. The Muhammad is a walking Quran. And look, he was bewitched. How come the Quran was not active? Any Muslim can answer me? And how we can trust a person to be a prophet of God if in his books Muslim agree and admit that the prophet he imagined himself that he had done a thing, but in fact he did not. Somebody asking me uh, why you are not debating atheists more often. I will debate them about what? Do you have a book? The, the atheism is a, is a theory. It's somebody, he believed he was a monkey. Okay, you are a monkey. You want the debate. Debate about what? Don't be silly with me. A debate with an atheist is a stupid debate because he don't have anything to talk about. What he have? He have a theory that he is a big bang. Big Bang, okay. It was like you have a big bang in your head. It's a theory. So debate about a theory. Neither him can prove it. Neither me, I can disapprove it. Because we have to go back in time and see what happened. It's a theory. Uh, can you talk about the poor Christians in Qamishli? My friend, this is what happened to the poor Christians. Poor Christians, as long as they don't stand and fight for themselves, nobody will fight for you. The, uh, the Christian in Syria, the, the Kurdish in Syria, they are a, a bunch of foolish people. So, sorry to say that. They took a side with the wrong side. They sided with the American. The American, they have no friends. The American, they sold you out. As simple as that. Never, never trust somebody to protect you. You protect yourself. So don't tell me about the poor Christians in Syria. You have the wrong friend. American, they always sell their friends. They don't. They, they don't. They don't. Uh, they don't have a friends. They, they they do business. So the Kurdish, sadly, their leaders are a bunch of fools. They trusted the American, and they did not learn. Just last year, he gave them a friend. Didn't you learn? Over overnight, one phone call, exactly like today, one phone call. He said, "Okay, I'm going to take my army from there." Eh, have fun. So they have the whole year to find different protector at least or let us say a friend who they can trust one year they did not do anything they stayed with the american and american sold you again and they will sell you again and they will sell you again you deserve it the lord he said the lord he said my people destroyed because of their ignorance it's your ignorance destroying you you are not a poor christian you're ignorant. <clears throat> Erdogan will kill the poor Christian in the Khamishli. Okay, so what you can do about it? You want to fight him in the chat room? You have all those years to prepare for the fight. You did not do anything. It's your fault. You allowed a bunch of militants to be your protectors, and those are the they are gang. And you allowed the American to take the CIA to take over your operation, and they use you. And when they finish with you, they throw you away. 
as simple as that. So I don't want to talk about it. All right? Give me money to go to other country. If you are a hero, you stand in your land and fight. Why you want to go to other country? Here we go. You are acting like a coward now. So why are you crying? The one who don't defend his land, he don't deserve to have a land. As simple as that. Anyway. Uh, I am a coward. I went to America. I did not went to America when there was a war. I am here in America from long time ago. When I came here, the Middle East was really in a very good situation. And I never, never run away. When I came to America, I joined the army in USA. And during the wartime, you see how coward I am? I joined the, I joined the army to go to war. <laughs> anyway, anyone who don't protect his land, he don't deserve to have a land, so stop crying. If the Turkish took your land, good for them, bad for you. Because nobody stand in front of them and defend the land. As simple as that. Those who don't fight for their land, they don't deserve it. Okay, so why you are crying? Okay, fight as your your dad fight. Be a, be a man. What do you want from the chat room to do you? Trump is here now. Trump, he sold you. Erdogan is coming to you. He brought you 80,000 Mujahideen. And the whole world is watching. The whole world sold you, sold you out. Because you never you, know, you know, never have a good friends. You have a, you have a you join the CIA. And the CIA they have no friends. CIA, this the same CIA are a friend to Erdogan, and they are a friend to Al Qaeda, they are a friend to Osama bin Laden, and they are a friend to you. I mean, use your brain. <laughs> <laughs> People are silly. How this organ how this organization called CIA is a friend for all of those. They are a friend with Erdogan. They are a friend with Israel. They are a friend with the Kurdish. They are a friend with Osama bin Laden. I mean, they are the one who made Osama bin Laden. They are the one who taught him how to make bombs. People don't want to learn. This is an evil organization, and they don't have any friends. They do business. They do what is good for them. The Kurdish, they have the wrong choice, the wrong friends. Are you allowed to protect your land? Absolutely. Why not? The Bible says the one who don't have a sword, go and buy one. Who said that the Christian are not allowed to protect their land? This is because of your ignorance, my friend. The whole Bible is about protecting yourself. The whole Bible from the beginning to the end. If you want to say to me, Jesus said that if somebody hit your right cheek, give him the other one. Jesus was using a Roman law where if you go and hit the other cheek, you go to jail. You live in a city, you live in a society. This is not about war. Otherwise, the whole Bible, read the Old Testament, all of it. It's about God supporting his people. Why? If war is forbidden, if our God, he don't want you to go in war, then you should not have a war. We are 10,000 Christians. The question why you are 10,000 Christians? Why? Ask yourself the question. You are the people of the town. You are the people who live there for centuries, thousands of years. How you end to be 10,000? I will tell you why. Everybody go and leave. And if, if you stay, you have one kid or two kids. Those cities, they used to have even zero Kurdish. The Kurdish now there is more than you. <laughs> don't cry my friend don't cry yeah no I left to America so I can do a mission I came here and as you see I'm not a coward I do what I can do I have big fight and I'm fighting the skull I'm fighting nobody have a threat to be killed more than me if I am a coward the coward is the one who sit home and he do nothing I do everything in my hand. Anyway, you are here just to disturb us. Go and cry to your American friends. Let them help you. 
even you call yourself Osama bin Laden there is a nation I respect it's called the Jews those people don't trust anyone they are a small minority in this earth and because they trust no one they can protect themselves you see the Jews are not waiting for America to defend them because the American they can sell them overnight overnight but who can and who dare to attack Israel actually Israel is the one defending America and they have more powerful weapon than USA I have respect for those people they don't cry we are big six millions of us burned alive Hitler he killed millions of us no 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 they are really a real nation they gather they work together they got their land back and now they have one of the most powerful army in the earth even though they are little tiny 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 small country don't cry do something about it nobody will help you help yourself anyway so we go back to our topic the prophet was bewitched and he began to imagine that he had done a thing like what even his sexual life was fraud Muhammad he don't have sex who in the world when I believe in this that the prophet for such and such a period of time he imagined that he had sex with his wives, but in fact, he did not. Why Muhammad did not read the Quran to heal himself? Look what happened. According to Muhammad's story, Allah, he sent the three angels. Again, number three appear, as usually, as usual. Islam is against number three, but yet three angels, they come to heal Muhammad. Why? Why? What? But the Sheikh, they read Quran for you and they heal you from cancer. I mean, which one is harder? As you claim, the naive one who says they heal you from cancer. You're right. This is always a fraud, scam. They give you some money, poor people. Say you have a cancer, we take you to hospital. And we agree, they can agree even with the doctors to say that. The fraud is a big, big business. And then they read Quran and okay, the cancer is gone. I mean, okay, so we do not need hospital in Indonesia. How many people die every year in cancer? Well, what we need to do is just get those shakes. <laughs> you know, let me tell you a way to heal all the people who have cancer in the world who they are Muslims. Get this shake a microphone and read for them the Quran and put a headset in their head and the brother, the cancer will go. Do you understand me? If this is true. So this is a fraud millions of people die every day from everywhere from every ethnic from every religion in the world from cancer what about fighting AIDS by cancer <laughs> cancer you know Islam is not stopping your diabetes either and as you see Muhammad himself he is infected by a black magic which does not exist Muhammad obviously have mental illness this is mental illness. He imagined himself, he saw things, he heard things. And what is the solution? Three angels, they come and they found a magic, a magic in a hair comb. Where? In a hair comb. The skin of the pollen of a male date tree with a comb and the hair is stuck in it. Okay, by finding that, now we stop the magic. Have you ever heard of a stupid story like this before? So if you are a naive person, then you believe that a Muslim scholar, he read Quran for you and then you know, go and see his family. They go to doctors and they study in America. All right. 
you are an orthodox and you want to call me because of my fast teaching my friend my, as long as I have a fast teaching why you are here you must be stupid and what is my fast teaching I say Jesus is God I say that God is a three and one three person one God stupid of you you are a false Christian you are no Christian a Christian who want to debate a Christian he must be a false Christian you are the same person I blocked you and now you came with different name so who is a Muslim can answer us the skin of the pollen of male date tree was controlling Muhammad this is how you control a prophet of God Orthodox Christianity is the real Christianity you see many is many just to give you an example I don't want to change the topic but just to show you how ignorant people are the real Christianity is the teaching of Jesus anything else is not really Christianity so Orthodox or Catholic or Protestant those are schools anyone go out of the line of the teaching of Jesus he is no Christian so a real person who is really Christian should not consider to say such a statement because Christians are those who follow Jesus not to follow a church name I don't care if you are Orthodox or Catholic or Protestant if you follow the teaching of Jesus you are Christian Jesus said whoever believe in me and die he will live not whoever believe in a Orthodox or Catholic or Protestant this is your maid this is the devil dividing you Christians and making you follow bishops and priests instead of following Jesus anyone he say I'm Catholic I am an Orthodox I am Protestant he is fooling himself he is not following Christ I follow Jesus I don't follow a bishop a bishop a Pope a priest they are corrupt and I am a sinner too so if I put my trust in a corrupt priest corrupt man they commit sin like me that's mean I am literally a fool so don't come to here and tell me and because this is always about division this is why many didn't like me by the way because I fight division for Jesus he made us united our enemy is the one who divide us anyone who divide the Christians is working for the devil if you go in the Quran you will see the following the Quran saying that Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians that's exactly that's exactly what is you doing you are serving Allah you are no Christian and one is talking now is your foolishness that oh I am an all Catholic I'm better than the Protestant or I'm Protestant the Catholic and the Christian that is exactly what the devil he want from you who are you to say who is a Christian who is not and with those who say Lou we are Christians we made a covenant but they forgot a part of what were for they were uh, admonished therefore I was steered up enmity and hatred among them till the day of resurrection till the day of resurrection so the stupid of you is the one who fight with other Christian for he is serving the devil which is called Allah shame on you while Jesus said the church not churches while Jesus said that the head of the church is the Messiah not the head of the church is a priest or a Pope while Jesus said that I know my people I know my sheep all of us not groups one church one God one book anyone he go out of it he is a false Christian right away my advice to you is somebody try to divide you say oh those Catholic listen to them they are not Christians those Protestant they are bad they will go to hell all oh, those are Orthodox they are bad this person cast him away he bring the devil with him this is not from Jesus my friend you can go right now and search in Google about unity all the Bible is full of verses about unity all those churches they are fighting unity which means they are fighting Jesus 
because many of them they are doing not not the poor followers the the the, the big ones they are doing business oh my church is better come here uh, give us donation here you know we are better than them ah if you go to the Catholic Church you go to hell <laughs> they, they are not Christians really <laughs> yeah he have, he is the Khomeini you know that the Khomeini he have the key of heaven in his pocket yeah in my church those are the devil people my friend they are not serving Jesus Jesus he taught you to love your enemy but you cannot even love your brother in Christ following this verse in the Quran chapter 5 verse 14 my brother in Christ is anyone who believe in the Father the Son the Holy Spirit three person one God my brother in Christ is anyone who believe that the Messiah is born of the Virgin Mary he commit no sin he is a son of God he died in the cross he was resurrected and he is coming back and he will be the judge over all mankind and he will come with the glory of his angels and his glory with his angels over the cloud and he will take those who will believe in him and save them and take them his to his kingdom that is a Christian those who follow Bishop and priest let them follow what Jesus said let the dead bury the dead follow the dead go Follow a bishop, he will die, and you will die soon. I follow Jesus. No one, no one deserves to be followed except Jesus. Not me, not you, no one. We are sinners. We are bad. We commit sin every day. Now, uh, so as you see, Muhammad, he could not heal himself. Muhammad, he died by poison and he was affected by magic. So how the Muslim, they say to you that a sheikh, he can heal you. If Muhammad could not heal anything, he could not heal himself. He needed two angels, three angels to come down from paradise and they look for, uh, you know, uh, you know, some uh, camp in the hair and the brother after that uh, we stop the magic. Why did not read Quran? The Muslim they say to you, we can read Quran and that will stop your problem, right? Hmm. So why the American hospitals is open in Jeddah and in Riyadh, and American doctors are paid the most high salaries in Saudi Arabia? Why you bring those blue eyes, Indian, whatever from everywhere, the most expert in medicine? Just use the Quran. Why you take a medicine for your diabetes? Read Quran will lower your blood. Actually, you read Quran, you will have a blood pressure and you will die. <laughs> are we listening, guys? So if you are a fool, you are a fool. What I can do to you? If you want to believe in stupid thing, this is your business. This is your business. If you think really they can heal you as I said and no Muslim can prove me wrong there's only one person in the Quran mission he can heal is Jesus only one person he have the power of healing even in the Quran and the Quran even count things Jesus he can do starting from a creating from the mud a bird and making it a living being which means he can make a human right now as we speak based on the Quran there's many flying birds are made by Jesus do you see it based on the Quran based on the Quran Jesus he say and he made the blind see he give eyes to the blind the one who is born blind I heal whom was born blind you see there is people they are not born blind they can be here maybe they have some problem with their nerves or etc you know in the eye surgery can fix it but this is born it's a defect he never saw light all his life in his both eyes how you can heal such a person just putting mud in his eyes 
what what is the what is that uh, who, who understand why jesus put mud in the eyes of the of the one who is healing anyone understand why jesus he put mud what is the, the what is the purpose of the mud this is how god he created the flesh god he created adam by mud Jesus, he gave eyes by mud from from dust to dust. We are from dust. So he holds some dust, he spit on it, water come from his mouth. He put it in the eye of the, the, the blind man, and the blind man he see. As simple as that, no surgery. And the funny, the Muslim, they say to you, brother and sister, the reason this is he used you have a lot of miracle. Because in the time of Jesus, the Roman were very advanced in miracle. What medical? The Roman were advanced in medical? Muhammad, he came 600 years after the Roman. So the, the medical should be a lot more advanced. And why you, I mean, how stupid this argument is. Why Jesus was giving the blind man some uh, some drop in his eyes? He said to him to take it three times a day. After one month, you will be fine. When when Jesus, he raised the man from death, he, he told him, like he gave him food, like you eat it three times a day. I mean, what medicine? Do you see the stupidity? Do you see how the argument is, is, is stupid? You have to have a low IQ not to find right away that this is something stupid because Jesus was not giving medicine. What does this have to do with medicine? Hello, it's like in the translation, they inserted. I don't believe in this translation, but anyway, it's like to open the statement. What does this have to do with medicine? This is miracle. This is medicine. But they could not explain to you why Jesus have all of those, even in their book, but Muhammad has zero. Should you use, I'm trying to read the, the comment, they go very fast. Should the fulfilled prophecy of the Bible be used to convince others? My friend, the Bible, whatever in the Bible, you can use it to convince others, but you have to be smart and use the topic, fit with the topic. Don't be like Muslims when they like answer now about Jesus. So like I'm saying, why Jesus have all those miracles? A Muslim, he says to me, at the time of Jesus, there was a lot of advanced medicine. This is not true. In the time of Jesus, nobody can fix the blind eyes. In the time of Jesus and now, nobody can make somebody come from death. And it, I mean, this is impossible. And Jesus was not giving medicine. So when you speak to someone, trying to convince him in something, first you have to have knowledge. Otherwise, fool will speak foolishness. And fool is not about a person who don't have intelligence necessarily. It's somebody he have no knowledge. But he act as if he have. You know what I mean? So when you speak about something, you have to have knowledge of it. Otherwise, don't open your mouth. Or people, they can laugh at you. Like when I sit here, I say, who is a Muslim want to call me? How I can make such a challenge? Uh, this person here, look. Uh, Zi Shan Khan. I am a Muslim. You are a liar. Jesus, not God. What about Trinity? Ha 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 ha. Okay, here we see. See, this is the, this is when a fool he speak. Ha 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 ha. Well, I am going to prove to you the Trinity from your Quran. What about you? Call me right now, and I, we will see who is going to say ha ha ha. What do you say? I will give to you the Trinity, the version, the Islamic version of the Trinity from the Quran. Who there? Let me open my Skype. Ha ha ha. That's it. You know, you, you did beat Christian Prince. I mean, look, you just said to him, ha ha ha. I mean, that's it. What Christian Prince can say? He cannot say ha 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 from it to you because that will make him copying you. Uh, Maybe that will make him copying you the same as Muhammad was copying our father out of heaven. You know, Muhammad, he copied everything, right?
Muhammad he copy everything Let me find you a hadith, I remember. I don't know if I can find it. The copy-paste prophet. We should find it in English, but there's no guarantee because they might try to hide it. Let us see. Hmm. Muhammad, because he is a thief, he always copy things everything he have including our father out of heaven which is a very famous well-known prayer for the Christians taught by Jesus himself and this is one example as, as one of many look with me in the screen tell me does this does it ring a bell for you when you read this Muhammad is asking the Muslim to pray the same as the Christian pray so they can be healed from their suffering. Read it. Do you see it? Our Lord, art of heaven, who is in heaven, holy is the name, the command right in the supreme in the heaven and the earth. This is this is our Father out of heaven. <laughs> Isn't it? Any Muslim have a comment? You see, good, like, you know, you, you remind me about this hadith. This is why I caught it. You guys, you have to push the information to come from my head. Who won the reference? Who won the reference? So next time, if we say something, we we have a proof. Hmm? Actually, in Arabic, it's match exactly the Arabic prayer of our our Father out of heaven. In Arabic, is word by word. Always, if you, uh, oh, it says long link, hold on, let me make it short. Always, and by the way, the Muslim, they will say to you, Da'if, all right, just to let you know. But this is not Da'if, this is Sunan Abu Dawood. This is one of the six hadith of, uh, of the Sahih. The Sahih books are six books. This is one of them. I just post the link. Hello? Brother. Hey, Amir, how are you? Is there Christian Brims? This is, is there the Christian, Christian Brims. I wanted to pay the same <laughs> <laughs> Is there Christian Brims? I wanted to pay the Christian Brims. Zip, zip, zip. Yeah, where I, are you? I'm fine, my friend. How are you? <laughs> How was Germany? I'm doing? fine, brother. Uh, Germany is fine. I, I was um, uh, going to the station for my book. My copy is there from your book, uh, Sex and Allah, uh, in German. Okay. <laughs> the first site I opened is uh, why the revelation of the job came because of the ass of Soda. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, go and make a you know go live in your channel later and uh, and share about the book. Uh, this is for those who do not know. Yeah. This is brother Amir. He is from Germany. He is an ex-Muslim. He is originally from Iran, a Persian. 
he and his brother they converted to Christianity and they have an amazing story and uh, I met them last time I went to Germany both of them they are very active people his brother he go even he give a brochure in the street imagine from a Muslim to someone giving brochure out by hand speaking to people in the street to invite them to Jesus this is this is what we are talking about now those are two they are very beautiful brothers and I was really uh, uh, happy to meet them in Germany I hope we see you uh, again brother sure sure God God is willing God is willing amen amen I will do a live stream about the book right. I will present the first uh, minute of my new video my new live stream and so the people of Germany uh, can order it and study it and uh, bring some Muslims out of this uh, satanic cult <laughs> called Islam. Wonderful, brother, wonderful. Yeah, and my, and those books are full of information, like as you see, you know, like there, it's like uh, things usually we don't talk yeah. about in the live podcast because it's very, very yeah, crazy. Everything that we're asking for is reference. As, exactly. We have to ask for reference. When somebody's saying something, then prove your case. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, if you can later can if you can join the uh, the YouTube chat and you can post your channel or you can send it to me because people they are I will ask the admin to find your channel to post it because people they are asking for your channel in Germany but he he do yeah. he do German he don't speak in English there so if you speak only German you can join them because his channel is a German ah. channel option I have no idea what that's saying <laughs> 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 all right, uh, all right, my, my brother. You know, I will okay. uh, I will continue my topic, and I'm happy to hear you. All right. Yeah, brother. Let, let us do a live stream together, uh, maybe in a few days or something like sure, this. Just let, me let know. us talk a little bit about. Yeah, it. just let me know, and uh, we will go. No problem. I will be happy to do so. Okay. Perfect. Right. Perfect. See you soon. Take care. God bless. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care. See, this is how life of people can be changed. Amir, he told me that he and his brother, like, you know, they were have a very, very far away life from Jesus. They've been in prison. They've been in jail. From jail. From being, doing an act which should not do. To be a missionary to bring people to Christ. Now, who is a Muslim would like to call us? So you see here, Muhammad is asking in a prayer. He is not even reading the Quran. Guys, isn't it weird? Why Muhammad not reading the Quran so he will be healing people? Why he could not heal his own son who was dying? Why Muhammad did not read Quran so he can heal himself from what is called black magic? Muhammad even died by poison. As the hadith confirm by Muhammad what about Muhammad read Quran and that's it I mean which one is harder poison or cancer poison is a strange substance go inside your blood your bloodstream not like cancer cancer is already in your body is eating your body so it's very a lot a lot easier like even if even if you you've been bitten by a very very vicious uh, uh, a snake with poison who is very deadly poison let us say cobra if you have little liquid which you can inject in your body as in let us say I don't know what they call the word in English like the one is fighting that specific poison you will be saved can't Allah save Muhammad Hmm? Can't Allah save Muhammad? Where is where is the magic of Allah? Where is the power of the Quran? Can't Muhammad read the chapter of the chair? The Muslim they say to you, uh, we read the, the verse of the chair. I mean the verse of the chair. Nice to meet you, chair. What the verse of the chair can do? Huh? They read this verse. Okay, read it. Here we go. Go. By the way, if this verse, if we read it, uh, somebody have a problem, I mean, any Muslims then should not go to the doctor. Just read this verse. Whatever your problem, you have diabetes, read this verse. 
Just played it. <laughs> Why you go? If you have a problem with your teeth, don't go to the doctor. Read it. You have diabetes, read it. You have liver problem, read it. Just read this verse. And by the way, why the chair of Allah is so big? If you actually read this verse, this verse is stupid because it says that the distance of the of the chair of Allah, not his uh, not his uh, throne. It says kursi. See here, the translation is is false. Kursi is a is a word mean throne. I mean, mean uh, chair, not throne. So his his uh, chair is uh, the width of not include. That's a lie. It says wiso, the distance of the chair of Allah, is the same distance of the heaven and the earth. That means Allah teaching us that the earth and the heaven, they have the same space. Otherwise, if you say the heaven, there's no need to say the, the earth, because the earth is so tiny, small. What earth? And why Allah's chair is so big? Do we have any Muslim? And then Muhammad, he told them to fight uh, uh, like a uh, 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 genie, as an example. The Muslim, they say to you, uh, this guy, he have a genie inside him. Let us read Quran. So what they read, let, let's, let's go. You will not believe it, what Muhammad, he gave them. This verse has actually proven to us that Muhammad is nothing but a fraud. Huh. Read this. What is this? Say a refuge. I seek refuge by Allah, by the Lord of mankind, the King of mankind, the God. We got it, the God of mankind. We got it. You just said the Lord of mankind already. Why you are repeating again? But it's good. There's nothing. He have nothing to say. When somebody have nothing to say, he repeat the words. From the evil of a sneaking whisperer, who's that? Who whispereth in the heart of mankind of the gender of mankind? What is that? How he whisper in the heart of the jinn if the jinn himself is a shaitan? Different verse. Look at this one. By the way, translation is false. Let me find different translation. This is big tal. Muhammad, he believed <clears throat> that somebody can make a knot for you and do voodoo. Make what? A knot. Do you see it? Say, I seek refuge with Allah, the Lord of the daybreak. The do he is the Lord of the daybreak. What about the sunset or the, I mean, the daybreak? He's, he's the Lord of that time. From the evil of what he is, so Allah He created the evil, okay, and from the evil of the day breaking night, as it's come with, with darkness, or the moon with its guys and set away, and the evil from the witchcraft when they blew in the night. <laughs> hey guys, I'm going to control Trump. So he will go and fight the Erdogan in his war against the Kurdish. I'm going to make a knot. Hold on. Let me get a knot. And I will control Trump by the knot. Not you. I'm going to knot you, Trump. By the knot. A human being can control somebody by the knot. Why you don't control Trump? All what you need, just give. Just get a knot. Why you don't control Trump? And by controlling Trump, you control almost the world. The Chinese, I mean, the Chinese, they are trying to fix the problem with this guy. He put sanctions on them. He is putting tariff on them, tax on them. I mean, all what you need, China, come on, Chinese. All what you need are not. Right? <clears throat> 
this is this is a clear proof that Muhammad is a false man. Why Muhammad did not declare the knot of himself? As you see, Muhammad was controlled by the magic, supposedly. <clears throat> Here we go. We have a, we have a person who left Islam. I just received a message. I'm not going to show it. I should he add, let me hold on. Let me be sure that his name will not show. Do you see it? Peace and blessing, Christian Prince. I left Islam officially a few days ago on your podcast, and I want to search. Okay, good for you, my friend. But now you will not get versions. I feel sorry for you. How you leave the religion of the knots? Hmm? You should not. The versions. You don't want to have versions. I mean, come on. So if Muhammad was controlled by a knot, and this is the verses, if you read them, all of them, they are five verses. It's very easy. It's taking less than 30 seconds to finish it. Why Muhammad, he needed three angels to come down from the heaven to help him with the knots. Can't you read this verse? Seek refuge by Allah. What do you think, guys? Isn't this a legitimate question? If this is will save us from magic by reading this, seek, I seek, I say, say, I seek refuge with Allah, the Lord of uh, the daybreak, from the evil of what He has created, and from the evil of the uh, uh, darkening uh, uh, or the dark of the night, and and the evil of the witchcraft when they blow in the night. How come Muhammad could not use this verse to protect himself and save himself? <clears throat> Muhammad is teaching us that he believes in voodoo. Muhammad obviously is coming from Jamaica. And Allah is the God of the voodoo. By the way, who is the one who opened a school to teach magic? Anyone remember? Maybe maybe many of you do not remember that Allah is the one who the first opened Huru Putter school. Who who remember Huri Putter? What his name? Huri Putter? That I'm saying the name wrong. I think I'm saying the name wrong. As usual. I need to watch those movies more to get inspired and announce myself as a prophet. Harry Potter, Harry, Harry Potter. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da. La 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 la. That's Muhammad story and Muhammad by the way he believe in the same stories like there is there's a guy his name is Solomon he have a ring and he wear the ring and he controlled the world and this is in the Quran the story of Solomon and Muhammad he told the Muslims explaining the Quran that Suleiman he, he controlled the genie why how he have a ring and one day shaitan genie he stole the ring like what? Yes, brother. Genie, brother. True story. Any Muslim would like to call me to show him the story and he will read it for us about the, the ring and the genie and the magic. And the Quran give us more details that, that uh, Suleiman even he have he controlled the, by the magic 
the magical ring and he have the shayateen they dive for him they do diving brother hmm. Look, look at this. Satan's they die for Suleiman. Why? Because he have that ring. And Suleiman have a flying carpet too. Don't forget the flying carpet. This is in front of you. And this flying carpet can carry six hundred thousand chairs and all the kingship of Suleiman, his army, his camels, his horses, his sheep. Even his a chicken. Oh, hold on. And not only that, Suleiman, he have an army of a chicken. And not only that, Suleiman, he die on his chair almost for one year and nobody noticed. He was actually not in his chair, actually. He was standing. Anyone remember why he did not, nobody notice he's dead? Anyone remember? Who remember? Why nobody noticed that uh, that Suleiman was dead? The termite ate his stick. I told Suleiman, don't use a stick which is not treated with chemical. Here we go, the termite, they ate his stick, and then Suleiman, he fell down, and then his kingdom, they noticed that he's dead. <laughs> now it's time to sleep, guys, okay? I mean, who in the world would I believe that this is God prophet speaking? What is that? The guy is dead and he have kingdom. He have ministers. He have army. He have wives. And all of them, they did not notice he is dead. Enter the termite. They eat his steak. The only termite I see here is the one eating your brain. Hmm? So you are telling me that the scholars of Islam they can heal you heal your brain first from the stupidity it's in the front of you Who want to believe in this? Flying carpet a bird who is looking for women who have no hair in their legs I want to get that bird man I want to send him to see the neighborhood to see if there's any women around she have no hair in her legs Suleiman he have a general in his army his name is Hudhud the Hudhud if you're searching Google let us search in Google how the hood hood look like here we go do you see hood hood this is hood hood do you see how we look like this is the hood hood and actually Muhammad he chose the correct image I mean look at this think about it this guy he looked like a general look like a Roman like a Roman uh, uh, officer Suleiman he have a general in the army and this is him hood hood We are going to have an interview with Mr. Hoodhood. Today we are going to speak about a very, very, very beautiful topic. It's about a bird, his name is Al Hoodhood. And he's mentioned in the Quran. And this Hoodhood is a very, very small, unique Hoodhood. Because simply, brother, he is hired by Prophet Suleiman, peace upon him, to be the minister. He's the minister. Look, guys, look at this feather in his. Obviously, he is a general in the army of the Roman Empire. <laughs> and look, Muhammad, he hate lizard. And look what the headhood is doing. Look at this man. He's doing jihad against leather. Isn't it Muhammad? He said, the one who killed a lizard from the first hit, Allah will give him, etc., etc., deeds. Hmm? And he's doing jihad. So this is the religion we are talking about. And you know, this is exactly this is a religion believe in voodoo, 
stupid stories, flying carpet. I mean, we are not talking about something. It's very hard to 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 prove that it's stupid. And then the hood hood he came back. He says, "I found the women rolling over them." And she has given abundance of all things. Look to see what the bird can do to you. All men here, don't go. If you are single, you want to find a bride, don't go to a dating site. All what you need, get this bird. You are his master now. Let him fly from the window. He come back to you, he will find you a woman. And he will find you a woman which is very rich, like Khadija. <clears throat> and then Suleiman, after he talked to the bird, because Suleiman he talked to birds. I can talk to birds too. Let me show you. Right? You know, like okay. Let me translate for you now. The bird he just told me he found me a very rich woman. She lived far away next door. What the heck? Suleiman talking to the birds, and the bird is telling him about the women, and then Suleiman he sent him one message to her. Go with this my letter and I throw it down into them. <laughs> what the heck? How Suleiman he said to the bird to throw it down to them. What is that? And here, Suleiman is sending the, the, the bird of a threat. He want to kill them. They want to do jihad. Either you convert to self, to yourself to Allah, huh? or I'm going to come after you. I do jihad. And then they said to him, we are people of a mighty power. You know? Okay. And then Suleiman, brother, when he was speaking, he was speaking in front of his soldiers. And there is one of them, his name is Afrit. Anyone knows what Afrit is? Who of you know the Afrit? What is Afrit? Anyone knows Afrit? Let me find you the answer from the Hadith. Hold on. Look at this. You see here the first translation, they say a demon from the jinn. The Muslim trying to confuse you here. Be careful. It doesn't say a demon, it says Afrit. Afrit is a special genie who is very fast, extremely fast. Hold on, let me sign you. Fast translation again doesn't say a demon. Uh, a strong demon from the jinn came to me yesterday and suddenly, so as to spoil my prayer, Allah enabled me overpower overpower him, and I cut him and intended to tie him with one of the pillars of the mo. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Anyone knows? How we can prove from this story that Muhammad is a false prophet? I don't think this is easy for you to find out. Anyone? <coughs> How we know that Muhammad near he says something against Islam teaching? This is against Islam teaching. Who knows? And please don't post here, tell me about this guy, he want to refute me. If they are men enough, let them call me. Otherwise, you are making advertising for stupid ones. Maybe you are the same person who is making those videos. Nobody watching his videos. If anyone, he can refute me, he can call me. My Skype is open. 
anything else is garbage is that correct guys those who they claim they can refute me and get me busted why you don't get me busted life on air this is the good challenge call him record him and then you post it in your YouTube let everybody laugh at him they don't dare but debating yourself winning the debate by yourself here we go go a bunch of kids so what make this story proving Muhammad to be false hold on I just remember something let me let me look for it <clears throat> once there was a question was asked to the scholars to the sheikhs I'm not sure if I will be able to find it all right here we go good we found it fast all right here there is somebody asking question I'm having a problem with the jinn I have been able to perceive the jinn in different way all my life obviously this person have a mental issue never seemed to be bothered by this enter recently I saw a jinn in our apartment in a few days we moved in in and then off and on I would pick up a little activity from the jinn or even genies what does that mean like the door opening by themselves my friend this is your wife sneaking on you seeing it hearing them etc oh, however things seems to be changing a lot now something is happening every day and things are making me uncomfortable in my house to the point where I do not know how to live anymore the jinns open the doors shout my name startling starting uh, startling me out of the steam knock over object appear as a cast <laughs> oh boy I have a, I remember a guy he told me that he, the genie appeared to him as his mother-in-law which is more actually more logical appear to me as a cat and the door is open by itself this is the cat you idiot and then or missing missing a cat missing with my computer <laughs> anyway I don't want to read the whole story it's funny it's stupid let us see the answer the answer of the scholar listen carefully this is a scholar it's not Christian Prince praise be to Allah firstly when a Muslim says firstly it's mean a disaster is coming that's it firstly but he don't say first he say firstly firstly obviously a disaster is coming the questioner is mistaken in saying that he had he she has seen uh, a jinn because the jinn can see us but we cannot see them Now let us connect to what we saw in the hadith. Anyone, anyone notice now what the problem with this? How Muhammad he got himself busted? Anyone notice? How Muhammad get himself busted? Because Muhammad he saw the genie and even he captured him. But the Quran says that nobody can see the genie. They can see us, but we cannot see them. And this is the Quran in front of you. And not only that, a Shafi'i said, whoever come with such a testimony, he is no longer valid. He is a fraud. Whoever claimed that he saw the jinn, he is a fraud. Because Allah says interpretation of the meaning. Very blah, 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 blah. From who you cannot see them. You cannot see them. The Quran says that. And look at the end, they say, unless he is a prophet. <laughs> but it doesn't say that in the Quran. It doesn't say that in the Quran. So they added, unless he is a prophet, to cover the scam and the fraud of Muhammad. Do you see it? It says nobody can see them. 
chapter 7 verse number 27 <clears throat> are we learning in our school guys are we learning This is a verse was given to Muhammad. So Muhammad is included. It doesn't say unless he is a prophet. It says you, you cannot see him. This is a verse was given to Muhammad. The one Allah talking to now supposedly is Muhammad. That those they can see you, but you cannot see them. Do you see it? Does it say here, unless you are a prophet? No. But to cover the lies of Muhammad, because Muhammad, he claimed that he captured a shaitan and he wanted to tie him up to the column of the mosque. But how you can capture someone is invisible. Someone, he can go through the wall. Because shaitan, he can go through the wall. He's invisible. He has a physical body, but his body is different. Like the one you see in the movies, they can through, go, go through the wall. How you can capture him? How how you can capture someone? He can change his shape. Right? So Muhammad here, he clearly, uh, you know, proved to us again, as usual, that he is a fraud. Any Muslim want to say something to us? Any Muslim have something to say to us? No, where what happened to the Muslims who they can refute me? They make videos for me. Christian Prince, you do not know. Christian Prince lying to you. Here we go. My Skype is open. Who wanna call me and show me that I do not know? Anyone? <clears throat> the Prophet he captured Afrit. Afrit is is not what they are saying here in the translation. You see here they lie to you they say a demon see they are they are fooling you muslim do not believe in something called demon it's afrit afrit is a special kind of genie who is very fast this is why the quran here says that one of the afrit said to him do you want me to go and uh, bring you this uh, the her throne <clears throat> In a very fast speed by even the blink of your eye this is why he's called afrit so afrit is a specific genie who is extremely fast read carefully afrit of the jinn said i will bring it thee therefore they cannot rise them in their place before you move even from your place i can bring you the throne I can bring you them. This is how powerful he is. Do you see it? This is Quran. This is Quran where you must then believe in that there's a Afrit. He's a genie. He can bring me a nation from their country before even you move your ass from your chair. And you believe in this. This is your religion. Guys, I use always this Afrit to get my stuff. It's called Amazon. 
in America. It's just another name for the Afrit. You go to your computer, you make an order, and then the Afrit, Amazon, like they ring in your door. You heard him many times coming to my door ringing. This is the Afrit. It's called Amazon Afrit. Prime Afrit. This is your religion, and this is the one you want me to convert to it. Hmm? Anyone say anything? Is that forbidden for us as a Christian to call Allah as our God? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. We should not call Allah as our God. And maybe this is why the reason the Christians in the Middle East they are they are not doing good because they follow their rabbis and their bishop and they, they fabricate a false translation of the Bible and they are using the word Allah. There is nowhere to find those word Allah in our Bible. Where is those word Allah coming from? You are praying to the wrong satanic God by using the word Allah. Any Muslim have anything to say to us? Anyone? <clears throat> There's nothing. It's called Orthodox Bible, etc. Bible is Bible. Translation. This is false translation. Any any translation use the word Allah in it. It's a false translation. The second you see the word Allah, you have to replace it either with Elohim or the Lord. That is a false translation. <clears throat> the same as the Muslim translation for the Quran. Like, if we go right now and search for Jesus in the Quran, we don't fight. Where, where is Jesus? There's no Jesus in the Quran. Where is Jesus? They don't have the word. You see, the original word is Yeshua or Yeshua. Yeshua. Okay, if we search for Yeshua or Yeshua, we cannot find it. So what we find in the Quran? We found the Isa. But the Muslim, when they translate Isa, they say Jesus, but there is nowhere it says Jesus. This is a false translation too. See, here in this translator, he put for you between two brackets, Jesus. There's no Jesus in the Quran. So anyone who replaced the word Isa by Jesus, he is... I mean, I can accept that he's trying to tell us, okay, this is he meant. This is what he meant, but you you don't switch the word and make it Jesus. And we do not know who's Isa, right? So the same as the Christians, if the Christian Bible translation, this translation, like Muslim, they say to you, how come you have many versions of the Bible? We don't have. This is we have. Okay, here we go. And in front of your eyes, how many versions do you have? Based on your understanding, if this is different Bible. How many Quran you have? You will say to me, those are translation. Well, the same for us. For us, we go by the Aramaic Bible, Hebrew Bible, Greek Bible, and even there is the Egyptian. But this is translation. <coughs> for me, I don't really... I do not need the, the translation. I use the Arabic one. But because I'm speaking to you in a language, I have to use the language. Do you believe in the Bible? Sure, I believe in the Bible. Why I don't believe in the If I don't believe in the Bible, I will believe what? I believe in the story of Muhammad and the flying carpet of Solomon? Hmm? I believe in Afrit, a genie who will bring me a nation by in a dish, like a pizza. What do you say? Do the Muslim have any anything to say? Uh, 
In Arabic, we say Yeshua, Yeshua al Messiah. The only correct word, as in the Quran, coming is al Messiah. And just to show you how funny Islamic cult is, if you ask anyone Muslim what is the Messiah mean, they don't know. Everyone give you hey, his in own uh, uh, explanation. Uh, hey, Christian, what the word Messiah mean? Huh? What the word Messiah mean? Who is a Muslim? I tell us. What this word mean? They don't know. And one of the most funny interpretation for it, they say to you that the Messiah, he, uh, the word Messiah came in from the word Masih. Why? Because he have a flat feet. <laughs> the Messiah have a flat feet, brother. Right? Uh, Karabi, he's saying Allah is not the moon god. Guys, Karabi, he's saying Allah is not the moon god. Okay, let me ask you, Mr. Karabi. As long as Allah is not the moon god, so how Allah, he have three daughters from having sex with the sun? Can you answer? When the Quran says that the Arab, they believe in a god, his name is Allah. And he have three daughters. <clears throat> who was the one who delivered the babies for him? Are you there, Mr. Uh, Allah is not God, the moon God? The moon God that married from the sun God, they have three daughters, the story in front of you. When the moon look at the sun, he said, you are hot. She said, come on, don't say that. You are so hot and big and beautiful. The sun, she said, I will burn you, okay? He said, please burn me. Let us have some babies. And this is, here we go, and they have babies. Can you explain to me where the story of the three daughters of Allah came in from? Like what? Allah, he put them in the microwave. He got three daughters. I would be happy to have you calling me and teach us, my friend. Do you want to teach us? Who is the wife of Allah who gave him three babies? Hello? The sun was singing to, uh, to the moon. I'm sexy and you know it. And the moon, he says, I agree, let us do it. And then, boom, boom, bing, bong, and they have three daughters, Allah and Al-Uzza and Manat. According to you, Muslims, not to me. So now I'm waiting for you to go, you know, look how many Muslims give us dislike, 52 dislike. 52 dislike. <clears throat> don't say I will attack the Muslims we don't attack the Muslims but my friend don't say that I don't know if your English is good or not people will think that you're attacking them physically say I will ask the Muslims we don't attack the Muslims it's, Muslims should not be under our attack Muslims are people like us they need our help we are not here to attack the Muslims. We are here to help the Muslims. Are you coming to Indonesia? Why I want to go to Indonesia? I will call. I will ask Afrit. Afrit, he will bring me Indonesia here. Let me call him. Uh, one, just one Afrit. He can bring all Indonesia. He can bring me three hundred million Indonesian here. All of you people in Indonesia. Oh, let me call the Afrit. Where is the Afrit? Hold on. Yeah, Afrit. Where, where is that? Where Afrit go? You see, uh, when we are Arab, we have control of many things. Here we go. The Afrit. And look at this funny translation. Afrit. 
an afrit and look between two brackets a strong like there's a there's a there's a weak afrit there's a strong afrit ibrida and fitter afrit it many rank and some of the afrit are very strong other example the guy who they call him afrit is very very fat and he's extremely fat even he can bring you something before even you blink your eye other example my wife she wants to do shopping in malaysia and i was in bangladesh so i asked the afrit to go and buy some shopping and he brought me all my grocery in less than a blink of an eye. And that is called Afrit. No, science. I mean, it's true. This is true. There's an Afrit. He can bring you anything from away. Even he can bring you all the nation. He can bring you the throne of Balqis before even you blink your eye. Proven, brother. This proven to be true. Now, how many of you are going to download our video today? Let us hope. Uh, by the way, for to find my videos, this is the easiest way. There's people who they always download my videos, subscribe to their channel, because they have access to a private place where they can get the link for it. And they can download it and they will post it for you later. Because what I'm doing, I'm not keeping my video in the channel. So please subscribe for those who they are downloading my videos. You can search for the same topic after a few hours and you will find some people, they have it already. Allah could not heal Muhammad, so how he can heal you? And this is how always you will get the... If, because I'm not keeping them, so the only way is to see it from someone who downloaded. You can see it live when I am live. Peter is not going to be here. <clears throat> so... Uh, no problem, my friend. I'm not saying all Indonesian or Muslims. Uh, I, I hope you understand me. I'm saying I'm just making a comment about the stupid teaching. This is this is crazy. Flying carpet, a bird looking for women have no hair in her legs. By the way, I think in the time of Suleiman, all women they have they are very hairy. My grandma she was like very hairy. I remember my, you know, this is the uh, the atheist once he saw a, a picture of my grandma behind me. And he wanted to use the, the picture of my grandfather and my grandma as a proof that oh we are used to be monkeys and by the way i just saw today an article saying that this is the, the 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 theory of a human being evolution coming from an animal is sound like proven to be false and those are the same atheists who were supporting the same theory for centuries now they are saying it's false you see it's a theory it's stupidity so now they are fighting each other about this is going to be true so my friend with this i want to say thank you for all those who was here we have 1400 uh like only okay you know what all those who did not like my video i'm going to send you afrit and the afrit will do the following i will ask him to bring your phone to me your computer and uh, <clears throat> what else no that's not right I cannot ask them for that. No, 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 no. Yeah, I was thinking that he can take your your chocolate, but that can cause your heart attack or, you know, I mean, you will not care for your phone or your computer, but chocolate, no. I think this is very harmful. Hmm. All right. I want to say thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. And as you see, we are here and nobody can answer us. I have my Skype open for a long time. Not a single Muslim dare to call me. They cannot. For the answer is very simple. What they will say? What they will say? I'm lying? Eh, that game doesn't work. I show everything in front of you on the screen. I hope people will take reference. And for those who sometimes they watch the video, they do not know how to find the reference. It's very easy. You can type exactly what you see in the screen, especially if it's in English. And like you can, let us say, you want to you want to search for this, uh, uh, for, uh, like this uh, here. Just type exactly, you will find it. Let us let us say I showed you here a hadith, but I'm not showing the number. Hmm? You can choose a unique line, like here. Uh, 
Muhammad copying our the prayer of our of our Lord who he taught us our father out of heaven so you can copy this line by I mean, copying the text which means you can freeze the computer the, the, the video type it in your search engine and you will find the hadith very easy all right so I want to say thank you guys for all the people here and uh, I pray for those who they are suffering from the Turkish invasion in the north of Syria that the Lord will help them but as always the Lord he said too you have to help yourself and this is what happened when you take a side with the evil one the evil one will never protect you people always have to side with the good Lord so he can stand with them people they forgot about their God people they are just you know they are just living they live you know and when you are just living to live you are by yourself don't cry for what will happen those who forsake the Lord the Lord will forsake them be always faithful your strength my strength is not America is not Israel is not any country my strength is coming from my Lord if the Lord is with me who could be against me actually today we as a Christians all those names are against us government is against us YouTube is against us Google is against us if you make an article praising Muhammad you put you, you put your article at the top in the search engine Christian Prince nowhere to be found I can't even keep my videos for five minutes in YouTube I have to take it down this is how bad it is this is the truth the truth is ugly my friend they try to mute us they start to stop they think if they flag my videos they can stop me you cannot stop me I will open it I have a thousand channels I stop here open there who care and people will come the truth my friend always side with the truth never side with the person when somebody do wrong speak against his wrong it doesn't matter even if he is your brother that is a true Christianity never side with the wrong right uh, Bible say remember God with fear and trembling where is love well I remember God and I fear God but doesn't mean that I fear God because I I believe in God because I fear him but I will be a fool not to fear fire as an example Fear is a sign of intelligence, not stupidity. And I fear losing somebody he loves me too. Correct, guys? I fear to lose somebody I love. Fear is not against love. God himself, he don't want us to go to hell. He is afraid that he, you yourself, you will go to hell. He sent you his own begotten son, his only begotten son. So you are blaming now God for he is trying to save you saying okay he says fear God well he told you there's a fire here we go you choose me or you choose fire which one you want so if you don't want to fear his fire why you complain don't fear who is hold who is forcing you to fear this is your stupidity and this is your philosophy which is not working even in the kitchen of Monica Lewinsky you can't make a pasta with your with your what about you put your hand now in the stove don't fear the fire where is love the fire is the one who keep us warm Without the fire, we die. What about you touch electricity? Well, the electricity is the one who make our uh, en engines and life run today. Now, computer run by electricity. Is that me? I'm going to touch it. I don't fear it. Electricity is love. So, my my friend, the power of God is amazing, and those who don't fear the penalty, they are fool. They are just a bunch of fool. This is not about God don't love you. This is about you being stupid because you made a choice not to fear him. Okay, you have your choice. How you preach to somebody to talk, he, he, to talk about religion? Why you want to talk about religion? You can preach about Jesus without talking about religion, my friend. Christ is not a religion. Christ not, and he never was about religion. Christianity is not a religion. It's a faith. So share your faith with him. Don't share religion. Never share religion. So when somebody want to blame God, says, okay, God, he says, I'm going to uh, destroy you. Well, God, he will do it. 
because he gave you life he have the right to take it this is not yours <laughs> right you see uh, mr bert you are being a stupid silly now stop playing victim who is playing victim who is playing victim and those who they are the christians killing people where are they where where we can find those christians who they are killing uh, uh, people you are a big fat liar which country is that country where christians are killing people can you give me the name is that in nigeria is that in syria is that in iraq is that in somalia is that in pakistan you are a big fat liar and if there is somebody he is a christian or claim to be a christian yet he killed he is no christian jesus said not everyone says to me lord lord will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will guys what is the first of the ten commandments says does it say in the ten commandment don't you shall not kill does it say that you shall not murder the one who do his will not the one who do his kill so you are a liar again bird bird you are just a potato for me and you are not welcome here no more because i don't like hypocrite liars christians is not those who call themselves christians christians is those who follow the step of christ otherwise you don't deserve the name imagine we call you we call you red but you are blue <laughs> you know what i mean so to be called a christian you have to be a person following christ otherwise you are no christian as simple as that so if you can come to me says okay jesus he said go and kill those people and etc okay i will say to you okay well here we go and what some people do they say okay in the old testament there is an order for war the order for war it's in the bible it says why nowhere nowhere god he said you cannot go for war because if you don't someone else will go okay so now the kurdish are invaded by the by the by by the turkish can the kurdish including the christian between them defend themselves absolutely they are not the ones attacking anyway they try to do to take us away from our topic and we christian we never play victim and we will never be victim for anyone it's you who is the victim even when you kill us because you just decide to send yourself to hell you see jesus in the cross he says forgive them father they do not know what they are doing which means you are the one need forgiveness now it's you <laughs> it's you who is going to be to hell not me by killing me I go to heaven by killing you I go to hell so when you kill me even when you kill me you are the one who became a victim of your crime even though you think you caught you killed me but you did not kill me really because I am promised to be having eternal life life today is just a stage everything in our life is a stage when you are a baby is a stage when you are a, a, a adult you are a stage when you are old when you are a person in your 80 90 it's a stage it's a stage of life not a stage of something else which means it's a stage of life where you pass it through death and then you will have a different life so even death for us as a christian is a gift from god because this is the gate of heaven not the gate of hell by death we go to heaven this is why Jesus said, time will come, and by killing you, they think they are doing favor to God. By what? By killing you. Not you killing them. He told them they will kill you. I send you as sheep between wolves. He said that to us. The wolves of Turkey are coming right now. But trust me, they will pay the price. This is why this Turkey will never be something. All those nations... Who they are doing aggression they will be destroyed it doesn't matter what country when israel became aggressive god destroyed israel he made them go as slaves my people being destroyed because of their ignorance and the most ignorant 
fear or let's say dangerous thing is being ignorant about being with the Lord obeying the Lord so be with the Lord you are safe seek someone against him you are in your own have fun and this is goes to America this is goes to Russia this is goes to China this is goes to Arab this goes to non Arab I am an Arab go go and see the Middle East what it is it's the worst place to live in it's the most ugly place to to live in it doesn't matter even if you live in a in a fancy a, a villa in Dubai I don't want to live there even for a second you make one post in Facebook you disappear just say something against the prince or his family you disappear you and your family they are siding with the devil they don't respect the life of a human being a human being is easy to go like we know he's like a worm for them anyway I want to say thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you and later if you are seeking to watch this video search for the title Allah could not heal Muhammad so how he can heal you and you will see that appear in a few hours from now in different accounts not in this one may the Lord bless us all we pray that the Muslims they will have a better life and they will be safe and they will be successful and they will be loving and they will know about Christ we pray that the whole world will come into peace and people stop their hate and their crimes against each other for God he did not create us to kill each other God he did not give us a life so we can kill the life you have no right to kill anyone doesn't matter if you are a Christian or a Muslim or a Hindu or a Buddha those who commit crimes they are committing crimes against God before they commit it against a human those who rape they will be punished those who kill they will be punished those who do crimes against a human being they will be punished because you are committing a crime against God he is the one who gave the life and he is the one only can take it who are you may the Lord bless you and they will see you soon again Christ is Lord Islam is false and thank you for being here